Croatia had been expected to qualify for the 2010 World Cup, but failed to do so after two defeats to group winners England. They were drawn into Group F alongside Georgia, Greece, Israel, Latvia and Malta. They began with a straightforward victory over Latvia in Riga. Captain Dario Serna with the pick of the goals. A stubborn Greek defence kept Croatia's next game goalless, but they did maintain their undefeated streak on home soil, which stood at nearly two years. October 2010 saw the Croats establish a two-point lead at the top of the group with a win over Israel. Nico Kranchar's first half double started from the penalty spot. Five minutes later, he curled in his second, and Israel's late goal proved just a consolation. Croatia's final qualifier of the year saw them cruise to a comfortable win over bottom of the group Malta. Two more goals from Kranchar. And a goal from Nikola Kalinic kept them in fine shape. But the following March, they dropped a second after defeat to Georgia, who scored the only goal in the last minute. Croatia took their revenge over the same opponent just over two months later. Georgia went ahead through Jabba Kankavar's header. Mario Mandzukic began the comeback by finishing off Tomislav Dumovic's cross. And just two minutes later, they were in front, Kalinic scoring his second goal in three games. Another win over group Minos Malta allowed Croatia to stay within reach of leaders Greece. Goals from Orjen Vukijevic, Milan Bardel, and Dejan Lovren sealed another three points. Four days later, they were back on top of the group after another 3-1 victory. It was Israel who struck first, Tomer Hemed slotting home just before the interval. The lead didn't last long, though. Luka Modric restoring parity within five minutes of the restart. Tal Ben Haim then received a straight red card for a challenge on Eduardo. And the Croatian striker picked himself up to steal the headlines. Eduardo striking twice in the space of three minutes to send his team top of the group. That lead lasted only a month, though, as Greece retook control when the two sides met in Piraeus. With automatic qualification out of their hands, Croatia's win over Latvia was negated by Greece's victory elsewhere. The results meant Slavin Bilic's men were heading for the playoffs. They were drawn against Turkey and travelled to Istanbul for the first leg, where they stunned the hosts. The job was completed with a goalless draw four days later. Croatia's quest for their first European Championship continues in Poland and Ukraine. YouTube.com forward slash goal is full of stuff like this and proper football too. To make sure you don't miss out, just hit the subscribe button. It really is that simple.